All right, I'm gonna be real with you. I am a very disorganized person and I'm someone that has a lot of responsibilities. Those two together are not really a good combo. That's why Notion kind of saves my butt off. That's why today I wanted to give you an inside look of my Notion board. Plus, I'll show you this crazy new AI feature that Notion has built in because one, I'm a very disorganized person and two, I'm really not that smart. Thanks to Notion, Notion makes me smarter with this AI feature and two, it helps me be more organized. You'll understand everything. All right, let's dive in right into um, my Notion board. Um, it's divided into YouTube, Riscam, and personal. YouTube is where all the content calendar are, the sponsors, all of that, my PRs. Riscam, I'm Riscam's marketing lead, so I need to have everything super organized. All of the campaigns that we do, I'm pretty organized. I've got like a cast database. I'll show you that as well. I've got a cover photo that, you know, kind of shows me peace, right? Everything in here, it can get pretty messy. So I just like the look of my Notion board to have peace. I want it to be peaceful. I want it to feel minimal. So I've got a photo of myself over here. Nick is going to present. Always remind myself that my channel, my personal brand is driven by tech but most importantly, lifestyle. Something that I'm sure you're gonna like is if you go through the bottom, you'll actually see my Fresh Lemonade Apple Music playlist directly built into Notion, which is pretty cool. So I can just tap, music will automatically start playing, um, which is awesome. How do you do this? It's actually super simple. Just go to your Apple Music playlist and then tap on share and then tap on copy link and then go to your Notion and then just paste that and then tap on create embed. And then there you go. You've now added your Apple Music playlist built into Notion, which is pretty cool. So a lot of people have this for to have like, you know, pretty chill vibes playlist. So whenever they can work, they can, you know, um, focus a lot. All right, let me show you my YouTube page. The first thing that I'm gonna show you is the content calendar. So here's where I have all of my content organized. Um, here's the names on the left. And then over here is the status. So whether I have it in progress, in production, or not started yet. And then over here, it's the different theme, the category of the video. So as you can see, you know, is it an Apple Watch video? Is it an iPhone video? Is it a lifestyle video? Is it an iPad, HomeKit, productivity, useful? So I can have a visual on what's coming and you know, if it's all divided pretty fairly and then a priority and then my upload date. So then I have um, a calendar view so I can see it visually, you know, when I'm uploading what, which is cool. Something that you're gonna be pretty mind blown is this. Um, Let's just tap on a new um, video, for example. Over here, I've actually got a theme. It all does this automatically. I've, I programmed it before, so I just tap on new video, and then look, automatically all of this happens. Let's type on like, you know, iPad tips and tricks video, for example. Over here, um, I can add my location if I wanna film in a specific cafeteria or whatever, different titles scripts to shoot and then a checklist for those shots so whenever i'm filming and I, I can just you know keep checking those off which is pretty cool here's what it gets really really crazy let's type on titles for example notion has just released notion ai so it's basically basically type in ai and it gives you all of these crazy options that notion will do for you so let's do ask AI to write. So I just do that. Simply press enter and AI will give me 10 titles about an iPad tips and tricks video built into Notion. Maybe just continue writing. I want more. Notion will do that as well. Look at this. And there's actually some really good ones. Look at this one. Maximizing your iPad, essential tips and tricks. Maximizing your iPad, okay? I'm gonna go back to where we were and I'm actually gonna change the title of the video already. So I've got my, my title already. Let's, let's do a script, for example. I simply do ask AI, ask AI to write a script video. Simply press enter and look at this. Notion is creating my YouTube video script. Isn't this crazy? I can also tell Notion, make it more formal. So it will actually have a more formal way of writing, it's utterly insane. The way that I usually do the scripts, for example, is I actually write down my personal scripts, but then maybe I, I tell Notion, make it sound more professional or make it sound more fun or give me a couple jokes with this theme. Like I ask, you know, Notion AI to do the craziest things. So that's how I organize my content calendar. Let's go back and let me show you this AI playground. So this is basically where I play with AI. So let, let me show you more about this new AI feature because I'm sure you guys will love. So you can actually make AI to make you write a blog post 
and outline a social media post. Write a social media post about the new iPad Pro. You type that in. Introducing the new iPad Pro. Look at this. It, it already wrote. Even with the hashtag, you can actually translate, translate this into Spanish. And you know, I'm Spanish and this is actually pretty good and pretty fluent Spanish. So here's what's cool about this AI playground that I've actually built. Well, I personally have not built it. I've actually bought this. Um, so I basically bought this out of, out, I forget where I bought it from, but look at this. Email marketing. Like these are all the things that you can ask AI. So whether for website, for TikTok marketing, for copywriting, writing long form sales copy, 629 post ideas in less than five minutes. All right, I'm gonna tap on a random one, generating ideas for live streaming. I'm gonna just copy this for example. I'm gonna ask AI to write. I'm gonna paste this. Can you suggest some unique and creative ideas for live streaming content based on the theme? The new iPad Pro. Let's see, let's see what AI comes up with. See, so I can do live drawing and sketching using the new iPad Pro and Apple Pencil. Like this is amazing. Live streaming and cooking or baking using the new iPad Pro. Um, so we've already seen AI Playground content calendar. Let me show you PR contacts really quickly. It's basically a database of my most important contacts. Of course, it will be blurred out because I don't want you to see this. Um, it's important to have you know a database with your most important contacts. Here's where all of my sponsors are. So my manager actually has access to this specific Notion page. So whenever he gets a new sponsor, he adds it here. He adds the type of what that sponsor wants. For example, Notion is more than gladly sponsoring this video. So he can put how much they're paying. Here's something that's pretty cool. And here's something that I totally recommend if you're a content creator and if you work with a videographer. So a problem that me and my videographer had is that he was always telling me, okay, bring your camera, bring the microphone, bring the light, bring like six or seven equipment of mine. And then I always ended up forgetting something. So before shoot day, my videographer will come and set up this equipment notion board and he will be like, all right, I want him to bring this, 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 and this. So I go in and I see, okay, what does he need? So I'll go and pick everything that he has. Then inside of branding, it's basically where I have all of my assets. So if my editor ever needs to come in here and ever needs like the arrow that I use for my videos, he can just download them here. So I have always that ready for them. We're in two risk cam. Over here, we've got our campaigns, for example. Um, you know, I probably can't show you most of these, but basically um, the way that I do it and what you will probably be most interested is this, this risk cam campaign template. Let me put it full screen for you. See, so over here, this did it, this all happened automatically as soon as I tap that. Okay, so over here, I've got a to-do list. So if I need to, you know, if Chenya needs to call somebody from casting, if Chenya needs to call this, if she needs to call location, if she needs to buy a specific wardrobe, she will do it directly from here. She will add the story in here. She will add her mood board, her Pinterest mood board. She will add the wardrobe in here and she will add the location on where we're filming. And as you can see, I can actually embed a specific Google address directly from here. Over here, once that's done, she can also start writing the shot list on what you know we all have to specifically film. And you know, we can also you know start checking those off. She can get the cast, the age, and whether they've been confirmed, the Instagram number, um, account or phone number, and all the expenses. So how much we've spent throughout this ad. As you can see, like this all happened automatically. And you can start seeing how Notion AI is different than any other AI just because it's actually built in. We've also got a cast database. Now this has to be blurred out because there's a lot of personal information, but we basically write the name of the actor or of the person, the ethnicity, so whether they're blonde, whether they're Latin, or whether they're Spanish or American or whatever, the Instagram profile so we can see more photos of them, the price that they want to be paid for, the hobby, so whether you know they have a specific talent, maybe they're an actor, maybe they're a professional cyclist, maybe they're a cook, whatever, and also whether they've been appeared on a risk cam campaign and whether they're sex, so whether they're a boy or a girl. Then a personal, I've got my 2023 goals, for example, I like to keep all of my goals in here, find a thumbnail stand and all, get invited to the Apple event, improve my speaking, and I, you know, I like to separate also by type, so whether YouTube, personal brand, Instagram, personal podcast, or kernel and then inside of personal i've also got like random notes that i really don't want to forget from you know important brace camp stuff that we're thinking about hawaii activities recipe about a potato salad which by the way this potato salad is amazing you definitely have to try it out but yeah i just have you know random things and i keep deleting them so like this you know everything that's inside of here is you know pretty relevant 
Yes, the potato salad is relevant. So as you can see, my notion board isn't really the craziest one out there, but it really gets the job done and it really helps me be organized. And now with the addition of Notion AI, it just changes everything.